Greetings! Today I want to show you some useful improvements in the solid state Tesla hairpin circuit. The first one is uh, that I replaced the uh, hairpin itself by a ferrite coil core. It uh, gives me a tremendous amount of uh, economy in the size of the circuit. And the second improvement is that I have added uh, current measuring resistors here, here, here and here. Uh, with uh, these resistors I can uh, measure the current and uh, uh, power consumption of every crucial part of the circuit. So here is the circuit diagram of this THP. Here we have uh, bridge rectifiers. It rectifies uh, the current from the grid and supplies it to the circuit. At first to the um, ballast resistor, uh, 40 watts uh, incandescent light bulb. Then the current comes uh, to resistor R1. Then to the it charges the capacitor C, and it has uh, 0 0.33 microfarads. And then the current chooses his way to the ground through the resistors R3 and R4 and the hairpin coil L and the resistor uh, load resistor. This is a charge part of the cycle. Uh, then when the capacitor C gets charged to the high enough voltage it uh, breaks uh, a neon barrier and uh, triggers the silicon control rectifier and starts a discharge uh, part uh, of the cycle. And uh, it should be noted that uh, it's uh, the most uh, simplified and easy to build to replicate a uh, circuit of, uh, similar to the one developed by Tesla. Now let me show you the circuit in action. And of course uh, all the interesting effects, uh, light bulb in water and uh, harmless energy is observed in this version of a Tesla hairpin circuit. And also I made um, all my measurements with this meter. I'm not sure that it's um, designed to measure the high frequency discharges like the ones that occur in this circuit. But um, nevertheless, let's check out my results of in power measurements in this circuit. Here are my measurements of power consumption in every crucial knot of the system. Sorry for the bad quality, I'm filming my computer's monitor. The first part uh, is describing uh, ohmic resistance of uh, shunting resistors. The second part uh, describing a voltage drop on them to calculate uh, the current going from them. And the third part is uh, voltage drop on the crucial parts, uh, ballasting resistor, silicon control rectifier, coil, load and the total consumption uh, from a grid. The next part is a calculated part and uh, it describes uh, current going through the uh, shunting resistors. And the last part is a power consumption. And here we can see uh, the part uh, that consumes every element of a circuit in a total value. Um, by these two cells uh, I've placed uh, a manual values in, in them. At first uh, that uh, I've had some problems with, uh, manage with man measurements of the power consumption of the coil and the load because of uh, high frequency discharge both, uh, both meters and uh, uh, scope are obviously lying to me. So I decided to place a worst case scenario that uh, con power consumption of the coil goes to zero and power consumption of the load uh, goes to 2 watts. And uh, of course the 
first uh, column describes uh, consumption with no load and the second column describes consumption with a 2 watt light bulb as load. Notice that uh, power, total uh, input power of the system goes slightly down when we collect, connect the load. In this time the power consumption on uh, ballasting resistor goes slightly down but the power consumption on the uh, silicon control rectifier goes up and of course uh, the consumption of uh, on the load appears of course uh, there can be um, various uh, places uh, where uncertain uh, uncertainty or uh, inaccuracy um, can occur but here are my results 88% with no load and 110% with load and the last thing that uh, should be noted is that the performance of the system and the distribution of uh, power consumption is highly dependent uh, on the ohmic resistance of the load just like in a cup again circuit this is it thank you for watching